What's up my spark plugs? I'm Sparkster28 and welcome to episode 1 of Sparks Talks. Today I will be giving my thoughts on the two upcoming Sonic games, Sonic Mania and Project Sonic 2017. Before I do though, I want you guys to know how much the Sonic series means to me. The original Sonic the Hedgehog game for the Sega Genesis was the very first video game I ever played back when I was only 3 years old and I absolutely loved it. And ever since then, all throughout my life, I have played and, and enjoyed many Sonic games. Some of my favorites would be Sonic 3 and Knuckles, the PC version of Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, Sonic Colors, Sonic Advance 2, and Sonic Rush. Generations isn't on the list because I haven't played it yet, the console version at least. I wasn't too impressed with the 3DS version. And of course, there are a few Sonic games that weren't so great, but I won't talk about that here. So by now you can probably tell that this series means a lot to me. I know that lately I haven't done too many Sonic playthroughs, but I do have some that I plan to do. I would talk about how I feel about the fan base and what a certain company has said about the series, but that would take a lot of time, so I may do that in a separate video. Now, on to my thoughts. As someone who doesn't side with the classic or modern games and loves both, I am looking forward to both new games. Sonic Mania is pretty much nostalgia overload for me, a new game looking like the classic games. I almost got that same feeling when I first played Sonic 4 Episode 1, I haven't played Episode 2 yet. Although that game played almost like a classic, Sonic still had his modern look, which wasn't a problem for me. It was a problem for a lot of other people though. And despite that game being short, I literally beat it on launch day. I enjoyed it. As for Sonic Mania, I like how Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles will be playable, and, it, and how it will have remixed stages as well as new ones. And graphic-wise, it looks really good. I really like how the um, sprites look. I'll just call them that. Not to mention they have people working on, on this game who have worked on that fan HD remake of Sonic 2. So that sounds good to me. Hiring people who have made fan games to make official games. Hmm. Another company might want to look into that, instead of, you know, taking their games down. As for Project Sonic 2017, there really isn't much I can say about that game, because there was no gameplay! Yeah, I didn't go total apeshit over that game like some others did. All I can gather from that trailer is that Sonic might be getting his attitude back, that would be nice. The game is probably going to either have an apocalyptic theme, or maybe that scene we saw in the trailer will happen near the end of the game, or hell, that we might not even see that exact cutscene in the game at all. <laughs> and classic Sonic is back, that sure came as a surprise. And from what some people are predicting, there might be a third Sonic. Hmm. Maybe they'll do what Generations wanted to do and bring in Dreamcast Sonic? Or <laughs> maybe even Boom Sonic? Uh, people, you people are going to hate me for saying that. I know some people watching this are already hating me right now for bringing that up. <laughs> also, you know, it's been a long time since they've made a Sonic game where you could play as more characters besides Sonic, you know, main series-wise, I mean. So I'm glad that Sonic Mania has Tails and Knuckles playable. I just wonder, like, can you play as a combination of Sonic and Tails like you could back in Sonic 2 and Sonic 3? Or, hell, can you mix it up and do Sonic and Knuckles, or Tails and Knuckles? Or Knuckles and Sonic, or Tails and Sonic, could you do that? <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Maybe they could also put more playable characters for Sonic 2017. Remember games like Adventure 1 and 2 that had multiple characters that all played different? Let's try and bring that back! That was awesome! And this may be a huge long shot, but bring Blaze the Cat back. She's my favorite Sonic character, and I hate how she's been reduced to a spin-off character. Pretty much the same fate as Daisy from the Mario series. I was almost going to say Waluigi, but then Waluigi has always been a spin-off character. Daisy was at least in the Super Mario Land, well, in the first Super Mario Land game, but then after that, nope, spin-off character. <laughs> So yeah, and in the in the spin-off Sonic games, well, most like in uh like recently Mar the Mario and Sonic ones, I always play as Blaze the Cat as often as I can because I think she needs a she needs a not a lot more recognition. You know, she's a great character, probably no, not probably in my opinion, the best female character in the series. <clears throat> While I can't say much about my thoughts on Sonic 2017 because, like I said, there was no gameplay. I do have some theories, and I don't know if anyone else has these theories, or maybe I'm the only one, but these are just things I came up with after thinking about the game and thinking about some other Sonic games. You remember how it said, join the resistance at the end of the trailer? 
I know this first one is highly unlikely, and like I said, I, I doubt they're going to do this. This is just something it reminded me of. But that made me think of the old Sonic Set AM cartoon, where Sonic and his friends led a resistance against Eggman, or Robotnik, as he was called back then. And like I said, while I did think of that, I, I highly doubt they're going to make a game that they are making a game that will use characters slash elements from something outside of the games. It just brought back memories of that show. <laughs> Next thing they'll do is make a game based off the Sonic comics. I really hope they don't do that. I don't I don't like the comics. I never really have. I tried reading some of the comics back in the day. I really just did not care for them. And ever since that reboot, ugh, gotten so bad. But anyway, that whole join the resistance the resistance line could mean you can play as multiple characters, or it could just mean a group that Sonic is in or leading that you see in cutscenes. You know, it, it might just be another game where you can only play as Sonic and Classic Sonic, and maybe if there's a third Sonic, maybe that one too. We'll see. Another theory I have that again might be highly unlikely is that this game could take place after the events of Sonic Chronicles: The Dark Brotherhood. Remember what happened at the end of that game? How when Sonic and his friends came back to Earth, Eggman had taken over Metropolis, pretty much lying about being reformed, who didn't see that coming, and shot them down? Looking back at that scene and watching the Sonic 2017 trailer again made me come up with this theory. I know that game is a spin-off and plays much differently from other Sonic games, but remember, I said the game could take place after the events of Chronicles. I didn't say this game would be a sequel. Chronicles might have gotten a sequel according to Bioware if the game did well enough, but because EA acquired Bioware, that is no longer the case. But still, the story of Sonic 2017 could take place after Chronicles, you never know. And there you go, those are my thoughts on the two upcoming Sonic games. I'm really looking forward to the two of them, and I hope that they bring Sonic back to greatness. Like I said, I... This is my childhood. Sonic the Hedgehog is something I grew up with, and it really saddens me to see someone, someone like this just go down the drain. If you'd like to tell me your thoughts on the two upcoming Sonic games, or any other Sonic games, thoughts on my theories, or any theories of your own, let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Sparks Talks, and stay tuned for more episodes, as well as my usual playthroughs, slash let's plays, and bonus videos. Later, Spark Plugs!